Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to stack this tall cake and also how to decorate this lovely pretty cake. This cake is also known as a barrel cake and it has about say five layers or six layers. I tend to stick to five layers and um, this is my result. So let's get started. I have my cake board ready and then I'm just going to add some buttercream to this. This helps the cake stick to your cake board and then I've got my 6 inch chocolate cake which I'm pressing gently on top of the cake board and then just trying to angle it in the middle of the cake board so just checking I'm just adding some simple syrup to my cake because my cake is slightly dry if your cake is not very dry and moist then you can skip this step And once I've done this, I'm adding my second layer of cake. So I have some chocolate buttercream and then I'm just spreading it across the cake. Just try to spread evenly. And I'm using a spatula to do this. Once I'm happy that it's laid evenly, then I'm going to add my second layer of cake. And then you repeat the same process, adding some buttercream, leveling, and then I added my third layer. Now I'm adding my five inch cake board and this is just to separate the bottom layer to the top layer and then I put my fourth layer on like this just adding the buttercream By the way, this is how I stack and assemble my cake. Some people do tall cakes differently to the way I do it. So it's whatever works for you. And once I've leveled it, I'm going to add my final cake layer. I like to do five layers, some people like to do six, and I'm just pressing down. So I use a long knife to just see um, the sides of the cake to ensure that they are in line. So they're not, bul so I haven't got some layers bulging out. So this is a method that I use. Once I'm happy that they are all lined up, I'm going to add a dowel which has been sharpened and I'm going to press this through all the cakes. So you need to put the cake board on a hard surface and take it off the turntable because you don't want to break your turntable. So I'm just using a, you can use a hammer or whatever you have available and press down. Now I'm using some edible ink just to mark that and I'm taking out the dowel like this and I will cut this and then put this back into the cake and this will actually support your cake from falling so keep it stable and I'm just pressing down with my dowel right into the cake board. Some people put dowels at the bottom of the cake, they tend to put four dowels underneath the cake board. You can do that if it's your first attempt, if you're not brave enough to do it like this. Now I'm just using a knife 
to smooth the sides of the cake and once I'm happy then I'm applying buttercream so I've got some chocolate buttercream and I'm just going to apply this around the cake using my spatula So just applying some generous amount and covering any gaps as I'm going along. Your buttercream should be room temperature, otherwise if it's too hard then you won't be able to apply it to your cake and you will find it quite difficult to apply. Now I'm using a side scraper. Smooth the sides of the cake with your scraper and turn your turntable. Take any excess off and then just repeat this process. This is called a crumb coat. We are also going to add some more buttercream. If there's any gaps in your cake, just fill them in. And remember, this is your first layer of cake. So you can see a bit of cake in your first layer, it's okay. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge once I'm done for about an hour and let the buttercream set. I'm also going to do the top of the cake as well. So I'm scraping the sides again until it's nice and smooth. Just use your spatula and move it towards yourself to get sharp edges. And a nice finish. So it's been in the fridge for about an hour and now I'm applying my second coat of buttercream. I'm adding a generous amount of buttercream and we're going to cover the cake so that it's not visible and you can't see any cake layers through the buttercream. So I'm just applying it all around the cake, on top of the cake as well. And the colour that I chose to cover the cake is grey. You can use whatever colour you um, wish to use. Now I'm using my side scraper again and I'm just smoothing the sides, taking any excess off and just carry on smoothing the sides. Now I'm just doing the top of the cake. And I'm going to pop it in the fridge for another hour so that the buttercream is nice and set. With the cake that's left over, I just made it into crumbs and added some buttercream. This is, you can use this for mould in the future that you want to make or cake circles. So, it's, so that's why your cake won't get wasted. So I'm going to put this away for another occasion. So just an idea that I was sharing with you, instead of throwing your cake um, in the bin, you can use that. Now it's been out of the fridge and I'm just adding some gold leaf, which is the exciting bit. A lovely gold colour. And be very gentle with this. So I'm just adding some edible gold leaf. And just pressing gently with my brush. You can add a little bit of water to your cake to help your 
gold leaf stick to the cake or if your buttercream is still uh, not fully dry you can use the gold leaf as well to help it stick to your cake and now I have some rose gold edible paint and I'm just going to flick this onto the cake to give that sort of effect like a splash effect and I'm going to do this all around the cake some areas will be more splash than others and that's the effect that I'm trying to create and now I have some Fiore Rochers and I'm going to add this to the top of the cake so my daughter helped me and she's unwrapping the Fiore Rochers Now I'm going to add this to the cake and just press in gently. If your um, chocolate is not sticking to the cake, you can use a little bit of buttercream, but mine were fine. And this is my look with all my fair rushes and my cake topper as well. And this is my look, so I hope you liked it. I certainly did. Tall cakes are modern and unique, so give them a try and I hope it goes well for you. If you haven't visited my channel, it's about cake decorating and cooking in general and fun videos. So please subscribe and visit my channel for more fun videos. And if you like this video, please press the like button. Thanks for watching.